everyone, this is Detroit Alley Cat. Welcome back to my channel. I am going to do Spooky Saturday, but I'm gonna do a little something different than I normally do. I'm going to do a unboxing of this Black Craft Cult Halloween Mystery Box 4. I ordered this a while back and I was like, you know what, I think this will be really cool and I don't even know what's in here, so I thought it would be really fun for us to do. So without further ado, let's get spooky. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. If this is your first time on my channel, I do true crime, I do spooky stories, once in a while I do unboxings, and lately I have just kind of been absent because I just, I've had a lot going on in my life and I just, um, yeah, I have not been on YouTube. And I thought it'd be really cool if I open this up and kind of go through like this unboxing and just, you know, talk about stuff with you. Let's do this. All right, so this box is called Black Craft Cult. I don't know if you know very much about it, but Black Craft is like this I guess it's like this like gothic punk alternative brand and they do a lot of like really comfortable clothes. That's part of the reason I like them is they're like, they have a lot of t-shirts and sweatpants and stuff like that, but yet it's very edgy. And this box in itself was $49.99, which I think is a pretty good deal. I have absolutely no idea what's inside of it. I do remember that I ordered a lot of stuff extra large just because I like to wear stuff extra large. So if you think that it looks really big, it's because it is really big. So how have you guys been doing? How is your Halloween? Are you guys like having like the best Halloween season ever? I have been insane. Uh, I don't know if you knew this, but I own my own circus company and I am a fire performer and we're at different haunted houses and I decided this year to open up my own haunted house even though it was a really let's just be honest the worst year of my life almost like I've had some really hard hard years when I was in my 20s and in my teens but this one I don't know how to describe there was just like so 2020 was really bad and then 2021 was like I don't know it was like an aftershock and I just I didn't know if I was ever gonna come back on YouTube like I really thought about it for a while and I was like am I going to come back on YouTube but I like talking to you guys and I learned so much from my first year on YouTube and I'm here, so I hope you guys want me to be here. I know this is very random, but it's also like one of them things where I like wanna talk to you guys and get to know you a little bit and show you the box. So we're going in deep inside the box. And if you don't wanna hear my personal stuff and you're like, uh, this is not for me, like maybe this isn't like the like episode is this an episode is this a podcast i'm not sure maybe this isn't the video to watch me on like and that's another thing is that i have noticed a lot of people's reactions to my true crime and my spooky stories and they're like you talk too much well of course i talk too much like that's like me i talk a lot that's why i wanted to make a youtube channel but i decided that what i'm gonna do is kind of leave my own personal opinions until the end so i can tell everybody like hey this is the time that i'm gonna start giving you my theories on what happened or this is how i feel about this so if you want just like the straight up facts or what like the summary of what happened you can watch the beginning part of it and at the end when i'm rambling about my knowledge or personal experience or my like theory you can be like all right peace out i don't want to watch this and i just thought that might be better I, I guess, I hope some of you might be watching this and being like, oh, okay. So the first thing, I put these crazy Halloween nails on because I thought they were so cute. Fun fact, I'm like a super big tomboy and I, me and nails, we don't get along. Like I love them, like big Cardi B 
nails, I'm into it. I'm feeling it. But like the tomboy in me, she just she just can't wear them. So those are my pretty nails. They're press on, and I'm I'm struggling to try to open this. So please don't laugh at me. Ooh, it looks like we got stickers, and so that's really cute. They're Halloween stickers. This one says Black Craft Cult. Do you guys want to hear something really funny? So yesterday, I actually got accused by someone for the first time in my life of trying to sacrifice someone. <laughs> I know that's really weird. I hired somebody for my company and they, I made a joke about like, hey these are the new sacrifices for you know the halloween queen just trying to be funny and sarcastic and one of them was like really terrified of me because i'm pagan and they thought i was being serious like that i was really going to sacrifice them i don't know i thought that was kind of crazy oh i really like this this is a scarecrow i love scarecrows and it's a halloween scarecrow now I know why I bought this. This is really cute. And then here's a mask, which is like the new thing. Like everybody wears masks now, huh? Do you guys think that masks are still gonna carry on for next year and the year after, or is it gonna like die down? Like Michigan has finally died down, but I've noticed the, <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed to say it. Cause like everybody is like, I, I don't know if YouTube like, will block you from saying it I'll just say it so like Michigan's like got a lot of corona cases right now like really bad and it's so weird because last year there wasn't like but one fourth of the cases and everyone's freaking out but this year it's like skyrocketing high right and no one's wearing a mask or asking like anything's wrong and I just think it's really weird like I don't know it just seemed like there was so much panic and freak out and, and the same amount of people are dying it's just like everybody stopped caring about it I guess I don't know so there's the mask this looks like it's gonna be a t-shirt Cardi B nails not working out again <laughs> oh this is cute I really like this it's the same picture that was on the sticker but it is on the t-shirt i love black craft it's like one of my favorite brands like they're so like their aesthetic of like old halloween nostalgia is just so me like it's it's edgy and it's older and it's it's younger but it's cute and it's kind of got class but it's kind of like down to earth just like me <laughs> probably all of that minus the class part Okay, moving on to the next thing. I love wearing t-shirts. I am totally a t-shirt person. Like, I used to be like really into being fancy all the time, but now I'm like t-shirt, shorts, working my butt off. I don't know if you guys like that. I like this too. This is so cute. It's the Grim Reaper with a little tiny Halloween bucket going to get their candy. This is really cute. I like it a lot. Okay, so this looks like it's the last thing. Let's open it up. This looks like it's a hoodie. I don't know if it, oh my God, it's not a hoodie. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm so loud. I've been wanting these for so long and I did not know that I was gonna get them. And I love when sweatpants are extra large. And I've been looking at these for so long and I got them. Okay, so like, this is a pair of sweatpants. And just look at how cute they are. I'm like, really surprised. I had no idea I had this. So there's like a cat, a tombstone, a little cauldron, super cute like a, a woman's silhouette with a pentagram which is so very important that I have that on there because like when I want to sacrifice people I have inspiration <laughs> there's a little bat this is really cute like I'm totally into this all right so that's that's everything I got in the box for $50 so a pair of sweatpants two t-shirts 
three stickers and one mask. So it's not like a lot of the little stuff that I've seen in the other boxes from before, but I feel like this is a lot more high quality. I don't know, the other boxes were pretty cool too, but this is definitely, I don't know, it just has a really cool aesthetic to it and I love Halloween, so this is 100% worth it. Black craft like hoodies in themselves are sometimes like $39.99. So, well, why do I keep saying hoodies? I got sweatpants. They're about 40 bucks too. So this in itself would have been 40 bucks and then the two t-shirts would have probably been 20 and then the mask and the stickers. So you're probably looking at a nice like 80, $90 box. I think that's the value, which I'm pretty impressed with. I'm happy with that. Yeah, so that's my unboxing. Let me tell you some more stuff before I let you go. So my, I did open up a haunted house, I think I told you that, and then it did not work out. Things got really, really hard for me at the haunted house and I learned a lot of stuff and it was super beautiful and I had a great staff and some things happened with the electrical and if you don't have electricity, you don't have a haunted house. And so I will probably be opening another one next year and that will be amazing. I did take some video of the haunted house and I think I put it on my channel. I just gotta tell you, like, I got so overwhelmed with everything that happened while I was setting up the haunted house and I'm not going to cry, okay? I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna cry. My hedgehog died and for some of you, you know, like, how much my hedgehog meant to me. Like, some of you guys are gonna be watching this and you'll be my friends or, You'll just be people that have watched my videos before. And earlier this year, I had lost my dog Spooky. And afterwards, I adopted a puppy named Rain and she ended up having Parvo and she died. And then before that, one of my friends, they committed suicide. And then in between that, I got really sick and almost died. And yeah, dude, like this year, this year came for me and like just ate me up and chewed me up. And I could have dealt with all of it. I really could until my hedgehog died. And that just like, I got really depressed. And I felt like, I felt like, I don't know. I like hit it from everybody, like how bad I was. And I like shoved it down inside of me. And I just felt like I was running from like fire to fire and putting them out like and just not, I just wasn't myself. I went away for a while. And when I got sick this year, I got so sick that like getting out of bed and walking around and doing stuff for me was impossible. I did make a video about it and some of you guys caught that I was like really quick about explaining what happened because like, I'll be honest, when I made that video, I was still sick and that is just part of this year for me. It's just like, I haven't like come to terms with how bad it got, but like, whew, I am coming out of it. And I do know that I want to continue with YouTube and I want to continue running my business and I, I want to continue being happy and I want to live and get through all of this. But for a second there, my life just like, it spiraled, you know? And so last weekend when I was at my haunted house, for whatever reason, some stuff went down and I ended up getting, you guys are gonna think that this isn't real, but it is real. I ended up getting electrocuted. <laughs> I grabbed the door and there was electricity in the door and I had to run an extension cord and somehow the extension cord got spliced and it was a big metal door and it jolted me and I had an umbrella and I'm standing there and like after that happened, I was like, you know what, I'm done, I'm done. We have to shut this haunted house down for my sanity because I, I, can't, I can't do this. It's just, if you're gonna do something, do it the right way. Don't like keep half-assing it and pushing yourself through stuff. And I was, I was pushing and pushing and pushing. And then I decided like, you know what, that's it. And I'm glad I did because for this entire week, I've just been coming to terms with everything that has happened in my life. 
and I feel like I lost a lot of people and I, I feel really alone but at the same time I'm very aware that even though I found out who really is there for me and who cares about me I, uh, I feel happy because I have a lot of people who really do care about me it just it and you always know that like you can count the amount of true friends you have on one hand but when it happens and you lose everybody and everything around you 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 still feel the pain because like we are only human you know so I did I felt a lot of pain and a lot of things that I didn't really necessarily want to see got revealed and my little friend he went somewhere else and that was very very hard and and it was hard because I was like how how am I gonna transition myself back to this channel and I guess the first thing that I needed to do was to sit down in front of this camera and tell you guys like I've been through some shit man <laughs> and I'm here and I'm not perfect and my life isn't perfect and I wish I was but I'm not and I'm back I really am this time for real and I'm so happy about that and you know the reason that I do show you guys who I really am so much is because I know that a lot of you are out there struggling. I can feel it. I can see people struggling. And for me to come on front of this camera and pretend that everything is just great is just BS. It's not. It's not great. Like, we're, we're all struggling right now. We're all going through things. And I know that, you know? And it's just, I want you to see that you're not alone because it would have been awesome to hear while I was like on my back in this bed feeling like I was just never going to be able to get out or when I was running around embarrassed of how horrible I felt inside because I didn't want to hurt people with how much dark pain I felt when my animals died. It would have been nice for someone to grab me and say, hey dude, I know what you're going through and you're not alone. And so I'm looking at you and I'm telling you wherever you are in your life wherever whatever's happening to you and how horrible you feel that it is you are not alone so um, you're not you're not alone and you know what makes you a stronger person is not pretending that you're go not you're okay because that's that's not what life's all about is being okay life is all about Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Life is not all about pretending that everything is okay. Life is all about going through life and doing the struggle and surviving it and, and stopping and looking around and saying, listen guys, I just went through some crazy stuff and I'm still here and I'm gonna make it and I'm gonna keep making it and I, I just I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do this for me because even if people tell you you're a crappy person for taking care of yourself don't listen to that like you have to take care of yourself and, and you have to do what you know are your like limits and I know this is so random and all over the place but I just I just thought that I should talk about it like real quick you know because like I know that you guys have seen like how I was last year and like my my videos two times a week and then all of a sudden I was like I was like just making videos of what I'm doing blogging I guess blogging blogging I don't know but it, it was sporadic and it was crazy and it was me surviving and just getting through it and yeah I'm thankful that I got through it and I'm thankful that I'm here I'm thankful that you're watching and if anything 
if you if you feel some kind of way today or tomorrow or the next day just listen to me and remember this you're not alone like seriously we're all struggling no matter how good people pretend that they're okay no one's okay you don't get through this life always being okay <laughs> no matter who you are everybody goes through it you know and yeah I don't know maybe this uh, video might touch you and make you feel like good or maybe this video will be like god what is she talking about maybe maybe it's just good for me and if it is good for me then that's fine because I deserve a little bit of good okay enough crazy talk I'm back I hope you have an amazing Halloween I am going to be giving you videos if I don't, don't be mad at me, but that's my plan. As of right now, I'm gonna be giving you some videos and I feel like I'm jumping in front of this com like this camera for the first time again, so go easy on me, which you never do. <laughs> but yeah, I, I really appreciate you watching and I hope you have an amazing October and I hope you are doing good and you're happy and you're well and all the good stuff and Anyway, I'll shut up. So, as always, stay safe and stay spooky. Bye.